So I wanted to ask you the question, can you get a Dalpin? Here's a Dalpin. Can you get a Dalpin out of an engine block while the engine block is still in the engine bay? And the answer is yes, I've just done it. Now there are two ways of doing it that I'm aware that both work. Um, the first one is to buy Calvan Tools 95400 part number um, from Amazon or wherever you can get it. It's about $150. And the nice thing about that is it will not damage your Dalpin. Now the Dalpins are about a few cents each and you can get them in packs of $25 for $8 from McMaster Car. Now McMaster Car is every kind of Dalpin imaginable. So I would suggest going there and getting Dalpins because they're so cheap that there's no point in trying to save them. Um, the other way to get the dial port pin, uh, pin out, um, which doesn't usually work, is to take a very strong vice lock pliers. So I use this to try and snap onto the dial pin, and it snaps on, it bites into the dial pin, it deforms the dial pin, because these dial pins are not really hard, but then when you try and twist it just turns off. So it didn't actually work. And maybe there's a, a better quality vice lock pliers that will do that for you. But you're probably just going to squish up the dial pin. So the, the way I, I got these off is by welding onto them. So I took this engine bay and I uh, put blankets everywhere so that sparks would not get um, onto any of the electricals um, or anything at all. And I covered up absolutely everything except for where this dalpin was, which is here. Then I took a big flat washer to protect the area which wasn't covered by the blanket, just around here. And some people actually um, leave the head gasket on, because then the head gasket can protect that area as well. And then I took a 14mm bolt. Now the inside of the 14mm bolt fits nicely over the dalpin. The problem with this 14mm bolt is that sorry nuts not bolts if you put the nut over you can see that it's recessed so you're going to be trying to weld into a recess now i know that sometimes doesn't work properly so i wanted to get this right first time because if i screw up i've got to take the whole engine block out um, so what i did is i took this um, nut and i put it in the lathe and i just turned it down a bit to make it flush with this um, with a dalpin and then i countersunk it a little bit so that um, I mean, I, I made a re recess so that you can act, I could actually weld, and there was some place for the weld filler to actually go. And then I used a 3 over 30 second rod at 50 amps. That's 3 over 32 diameter rod. It's a 7018 rod. 50 amps seemed about the right amperage. It was sparking a little, but it, the sparks uh, didn't create a huge problem. Um, I put the grounding cable just onto this aluminium here and nothing is damaged um, and then I just welded a circle so you can see there that's my weld Um, and then I just took a 14 millimeter socket and, and tried to turn it. And I mean, after it cooled, you obviously got to wait a long time to, for it to cool because when you heat up the pin, it's going to expand in the block and it's going to make it even more difficult to get out. So waiting for it to cool is essential. Okay, and then I put this just under the, the edge of the... the nut like this and pushed it, you know, levered it, and while at the same time turning it, and I actually was, to my surprise, um, it actually did turn quite easily once I got a socket on there and a breaker ball. It didn't require a huge amount of force. It actually turned, and uh, and with the, with this uh, uh, levering tool, I was able to actually push, pull it out. So it actually came out more easily than I thought. I mean, it was much easier to get out than getting out a broken bolt or something like the rusty old bolt or something like that. It came out quite easily. Um, so yes, you can actually get um, pins out of an engine block while the engine is in the vehicle and it's not too difficult. Um, you just got to use a stick welder. So that's all I have for you today. 
see you later.